Hey guys, Jay from Jay's Films here, and what I'm going to show you today is how to remove tripods in your 360 videos using After Effects. I know a lot of people on YouTube, when they make these tutorials, they only work on one clip and call it a day. But what if you have an XML file or EDL file from Premiere, and you have to work on it in After Effects, and there are multiple clips in your sequence? How do you remove the tripods for all of these? So just follow along. We are in After Effects CC 2018, but I believe this plugin was added a long time ago. I'm not sure when, but yeah. So if you don't have it, that sucks. But if you do, just go ahead and follow along with me. So what we're gonna do first is drag and drop these two clips. These are uh, 5.2K 360 videos from the GoPro Fusion. I exported them from DaVinci Resolve. They are 5.2. So if 5120 by 2560, let's go ahead and drag and drop these in our timeline. We're gonna click um, sequence layers right here. Don't click overlap, everything should be good. Press okay. And now you're gonna have two cuts. You're gonna have the first clip and the second clip. The first clip you're gonna see, I do have the tripod there or the monopod. And the second clip, I also have the monopod. So what we're gonna do today is show you how to remove it from here and remove it from here so that whenever you have a footage or a sequence of footage, you can remove it for all of them. So the next thing we are gonna do is click window. We're gonna go to VR Comp Editor. Now this one was originally a plug-in for After Effects, if I remember correctly, and I think Adobe just bought it out and included it in Adobe CC. Pretty much the greatest thing about Adobe CC is like, they buy so much stuff from other people and they include it in their Adobe Creative Suite. That is just amazing. But anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do with our footage is click on the first one. We're gonna pre-compose it, Control Shift C, that's Charlie. We're gonna go to move all attributes into the new composition. You can leave the name just, just like that, that's fine. And then you're gonna see that we have a pre-comp. If you double click the pre-comp, you're gonna see the footage. Just this guy right here, flying his drone, freaking noob. Uh, go ahead, go back. We're gonna highlight that pre-comp. We're gonna click Add 2D Edit. We're gonna leave everything as is because my computer can take it. But if not, if your computer is really slow, go ahead and reduce this resolution to 720p. But you know, mine is fine with 1920. So Add 2D Edit, that should be good to go. And now you're gonna open another window. When that window opens, you can click on this little right thing right here. It's the Unified Camera Tool. You're gonna be able to actually go around your footage. If you can't do this right now, you did something wrong already. So what we're gonna do next is pretty much go like that. We're gonna click our little arrow button here. We're gonna double click the, uh, we're gonna use the clone stamp tool because I love this freaking tool. We're gonna double click the screen, left click, and there you go. It's gonna take you to your editing clone stamp tool. We are gonna take a sample. Now, I'm just pressing spacebar here and dragging the footage around. Uh, what I usually do is pick something that's right beside the tripod because it just clones better. So I'm gonna go like maybe about right here and then we'll just clean it up after. So let's go ahead and clone it. Clone it all the way down. And that is why I love using this feature in After Effects because you can just clone this like in Photoshop, which is so easy to do. And I mean, and when shooting these 360 videos, keep in mind that you're gonna be doing this. So try to do, uh, try to put your camera somewhere that you know you can easily clone later on. So something like this, I mean, there you go. That's, that's pretty much done, right? The tripod is done. So what we're gonna do next is go check out the VR2 output. And there you go. The tripod is no more. Now, if you look on the left side here, you're gonna see that the VR comp editor actually created two more sequences or timeline. This is gonna be your output right here. This is what you're gonna be rendering out. And this is gonna be your um, edit, the thing that you just did. This is where you can move around and stuff like that, right? Right now it's messy, so go ahead and control Z that, that's fine. Uh, what we're gonna do next is go to the main timeline, the original one that we made, this sequence here, this, uh, yeah, this sequence right here, this timeline, and we're gonna pre-compose the second one, right? I know right now it's not working. You can still see the tripod, but just follow along. We're gonna go to the second one. We're gonna pre-compose to Control-Shift-Charlie. 
we're gonna go ahead and move all attributes like we did before. And the same, same exact way, that's pretty much it. It's just, you know, going through that, just putting it in the pre-comp. And if we double click the pre-comp, you're gonna see the footage again, it didn't go anywhere. So the next thing we're gonna do is work on the second one. So we're gonna highlight the second pre-comp. We're gonna click add 2D edit once more. And then you're gonna click on this drop down and make sure you're choosing the right pre-composition, which is 525. We're working at 525. We're gonna click 525 here, add 2D edit, and there we go. We're gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. We're gonna go ahead and go to the unified camera tool, look for this tripod that we're trying to get rid of, go to the clone stamp, double click, zoom in, and then clone away. Easy. All right, that one's gonna be tricky, but just hang on there. Hang on, hang on. Let's go ahead and clone that too. Now this is when your Photoshop skills come in handy because it's technically the same thing. Now I'm cloning a little bit more there. And, and you, can, you can work on this a lot more. This is really sloppy. I'm just trying to make this video quick for you guys. <clears throat> All right. There you go. And it is done. So we are going to go back to the VR2 output. All right. Let me go ahead and close this. We don't need this for now because we only have two clips. So let's go to edit. Good. That one's gone. We're going to go back here. Let's go to output for this one. There you go. That one's gone. So the next thing and the final thing, this is very important, so pay attention. We're gonna, get, we're gonna go back to our original uh, composition or sequence, timeline, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, we're gonna go back to that original one. We're gonna minimize it so we can see the whole thing. We're gonna go highlight our first pre-composition and we're gonna find that same name down here where the actual uh, plugin created. So we're gonna look at 521 we're gonna look at the output of 521. We're gonna press Alt, Alt or Option. And then we're gonna drag and drop it and replace that one with the output one. And you see what happens? I'm gonna Control Z just to undo that. You see how it disappears? Same thing again. We're gonna click or highlight our first pre-comp. Make sure the name matches, which is 521. Press Alt, click, drag and drop it on top of that footage, replacing it with the uh, one that we worked on with the clone stamp tool. And that's it. So the next thing we're gonna do is do the same thing for 525, click on that, highlight it, press Alt, go to this second one right here, 525, output, make sure it's the output, drag and drop, and that's gonna replace it. And there you go, your tripod is gone. The next thing you're gonna do is just export this in Media Encoder, and after that, it should be a VR. Now, when you watch it in your computer after the render, it's gonna look weird, but don't worry. When you upload it on Facebook or YouTube, the weirdness does go away, so just don't freak out too much. But that's pretty much it. I hope that video wasn't too long. I hope you guys learned something today, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.